For me, it was a it was a cram session in the morning. I went to I actually went to a course in person. Right, I have that as well. If you if you can't uh, focus online or whatever the case is, and you want to go to a two day class, I have that as well. If you're here in Florida, I can get you in in a classroom setting. You're there for two days. You're cramming a bunch of information, and you can go take that test a few days later. That's what I did. Hey, what's up guys, it's Brad Hannon here. If you've ever thought about getting into the insurance industry, I wanna give you a couple simple steps on how you can take action on that, right? Because it's the taking action that's gonna get you started. And there's more millionaires created in the insurance industry than any other industry. Um, so if I can do it, I know you can do it. Uh, getting licensed is really easy. The first thing that you have to do is you have to enroll in a course, right? Some courses are $199. I have a code for you for $49, you can enroll in a course. Okay, where you can actually uh, take it online at your pace while you're uh, while you're working, while you're you know doing another part-time job, whatever it might be. If quarantine's got you down, you're getting your license, you're working on getting one percent better every single day. So you have to enroll in a course. I have a course. Reach out to me. I can get you enrolled in the licensing course. We can get you licensed within a couple weeks. The second step is to begin an application with the state. So you actually have to apply with the state to be licensed. So not only do you have to take the course, right? That's kind of the prerequisite. If this was real estate, it would be the uh, the equivalent to taking your real estate, uh, you're putting in the hours in that course, then applying for that license and taking the test with the state, which is the third step, right? And the third step is you've got to go and actually take your test. All you need in the state of Florida is a 70% or better. Uh, again, if I can do it, I know you can do it. Um, so that's the, the step three is actually taking that test. For me, it was a it was a cram session in the morning. I went to I actually went to a course in person, right? I have that as well. If you if you can't uh, focus online or whatever the case is, and you want to go to a two day class, I have that as well. If you're here in Florida, I can get you in in a classroom setting. You're there for two days. You're cramming a bunch of information, and you can go take that test a few days later. That's what I did, uh, and this was years and years ago. Uh, I crammed the morning of, went and took the test, I think I got like a 77 or something, right? So you just have to pass that test with a 70% or more. And then the last thing that you have to do is just pass a background check and fingerprints, right? You can do that in any order. You can do the fingerprints first, you know, whatever the case is, but you've got to pass the test. To, to get the test, you've got to enroll in the course. And, and complete the course, and then you've just got to get a 70 or better. Next thing you know, you're licensed, you can train with me, you can train with us, you can become a part of the team, whatever team that might be, and start your career in the insurance industry. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you gained something from this. Our goal is to provide value in the individual under 65 health insurance space. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you did get something on this, then make sure you like and subscribe below. Uh, be a part of what we're growing here on YouTube with Health Insurance Hustlers.